What if you could walk through a lost laboratory, the very birthplace of modern chemistry, a place where the air we breathe and the fire that burns were first understood? This isn't alchemy, this is revolution. Welcome to Lavoisier's Lost Lab. Hidden for centuries, behind stone walls and forgotten papers, lies the lab that changed science forever. Before chemistry, there was chaos. Alchemists sought gold from lead and immortality from fire. For a thousand years, they chased shadows, believing that fire was an element released from burning materials, a mystical substance they called phlogiston. Their world was a mix of secret recipes, cryptic symbols, and unproven theories. They believed matter could be created and destroyed, and their experiments, while groundbreaking in their own right, were often clouded by superstition, lacking the one thing that would ignite the next scientific age, precision. Then came a man obsessed with accuracy, Antoine Lavoisier. He wasn't just a thinker, he was a meticulous measurer. While others speculated, Lavoisier weighed. Every flame, every breath, he measured weighed, and revealed the invisible. He built a fortress of facts, using hyper-accurate scales and custom-designed glassware to trap gases and track every microgram. He proved that when wood burns, it doesn't just disappear, it transforms. When water turns to steam, its mass remains unchanged. With each precise measurement, he was dismantling the old world and writing the first laws of a new one. He then turned his attention to the greatest mystery of all, combustion. His most famous experiment was deceptively simple. He carefully heated the red powder, mercury calyx, in a sealed vessel. As it heated, it released a gas, leaving behind shiny liquid mercury. He captured this air and found something astonishing. A candle plunged into it burned with a blinding, ferocious intensity. He realized this wasn't just any air. It was a pure, life-giving element he discovered the element that feeds every fire, oxygen, ending centuries of myth and giving chemistry its foundation. But revolution spared no one. Lavoisier, a man of science and order, lived in the chaotic heart of the French Revolution. His ties to the old regime and his work as a tax collector sealed his fate. The mind that had redefined the very essence of matter was accused of treason. The man who defined life itself lost his own to the blade. His lab was scattered, his notes burned, his instruments lost to time. It was a tragic end for the father of modern chemistry, yet his ideas never died. They couldn't be executed or burned. From that single lab, from those painstaking measurements, came the law of conservation of mass, the language of 